Okay, we're looking at the AOA indicator, angle of attack indicator from B-Light Electronics, and that's this gauge right here that I'm encircling. And James is out there fiddling with the indicator, so he's showing you. Let's go down to cruise, James. Here you are, you're cruising along, you're in the green, it shows green, the light's green. Okay, now we're starting to come in for a landing. So the angle is starting to go up a little bit. The color changes a little bit. It's getting uh, amber now, and you're getting high in the green. Oops, now you're getting a near stall or at stall. And at full stall, it's blinking angrily at you, like, put that nose back down. A very simple device showing you where the angle of attack is. So running that little sensor or that indicator inside the cockpit, uh, you've got to have some equipment out here. Now, some people are doing this with a pitot tube that has two inlets, and as it gets to a certain angle, one inlet feels the pressure more than the other. Well, that's one way to do it, but here's actually the way they do it on airliners. If you look on the outside of an airliner near the nose, you'll see a physical thing that moves up and down. That's exactly what you've got here, right, James? Yeah, this is exactly the same way concept. And, and what you're doing here is you've got a, uh, a weighted device out here, and I'm covering up the fin there in the back that would see the air, but as this moves back and forth, it's very free to move. There's no frictionless. There's and no sensation balanced. of movement to it. So it'll just kind of balance there. And inside here is what, James? There is a magnetic sensor in there that it's mounted on a ball bearing shaft because there's no physical, in other words, there's no wiper. There's nothing to cause friction. Uh, it reacts instantaneously to any change in the angle of airflow over the vane. And as a result of that, the electronics see that change in position immediately and send it right back to that instrument. So you see instantly in the cockpit what your angle of attack is doing. Now, we've learned from the, our friends at the, the uh, Gamma organization that in a certified aircraft, these things run five, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 yeah. for an angle of attack indicator, a lot of which is just the effort to prove its airworthiness for their technical standard order in, uh, uh, requirements. You're not quite that high, I'm guessing. No, we're at $595. $595? Will it work on any airplane? It'll work on any experimental aircraft or any, you know, uh, the light sport guys could use it too. They could use it with manufacturer approval. Sure, they've so got to get that. This entire community at Oshkosh could use this product. All the ultralights could use it. Uh, there's probably applications in other markets, but uh, you know, nobody's ever done a magnetically mounted sensor. And the reason is, is because that part just became available. It's oh, new is that right? technology. So this is brand new stuff out yeah. there on the market. This is brand new. And you're kind of a tech guy for a long time, so I you wire into the these things right away. Like, there it was, let's do it. More information about B-Light Electronics. You got more than just angle of attack indicators. You got a whole range of instrumentation, all extremely light stuff. And and pretty good prices on all of it too. So where do we go go get more? Go to the web. Be light aircraft. B E L I T E aircraft.com. And we can find the electronic stuff on it's that there. website. Yes, sir. Great. Talking with James Weeby, Be Light Aircraft, and the Be Light Electronics information uh, available for the cockpit of your airplane. Lots of airplanes. Find more about that and lots more about light aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining us down here in the ultralight area.